All right, guys, just because you quit your job does not mean that the work stops. You actually got to work harder than you did when you had a job because you go from living paycheck to paycheck to living from bill to bill. So now you got to hurry up and hustle, make some money so that you can um, not lose the things that you've actually worked for. You lose your apartment, you could lose your car, you could lose all kinds of stuff if you stop paying your bills. Usually one person, when people lose their job and they're living paycheck to paycheck, it don't matter how much they make, they will lose everything they own within a matter of a few months, like three months maybe. So I quit my job about two years ago, two or three years ago, and I started a business. And I have been in business for two and a half years almost so that means I survived having a business for two and a half years now am I a millionaire am I a billionaire am I freaking living large no I'm surviving still but I'm establishing a business and I'm establishing my own value and I'm working for myself and I have a lot of freedom but there is uh, something that you need to know is that you actually have to work harder if you don't have any money. Um, if you quit your job and you don't have anything saved up, if you don't have like a thousand, I'm talking about, you don't have about forty to fifty thousand dollars saved up, uh, you're gonna be hurting quick. Because uh, let's say at the lowest, um, life costs you around uh, twenty-five thousand dollars a year. So you got to really go out there and seriously make some money. <clears throat> so fortunately, I was able to start a business and make money there. And I'm surviving in the business. And I found a landlord that is pretty uh, amazing. So the thing about it is um, one of the major problems that I have right now is since I did not start since I started a business from scratch I do not have any capital so this is kind of why I'm starting a so that's why I've been trying to uh, build up my social media platform for a while for about two or three years but it actually is not uh, it's not blowing up as much as I thought <clears throat> so you cannot rely on becoming famous because uh, that just might not happen but you do have to work very hard and now you're you're living from paycheck to I mean not paycheck to paycheck but from bill to bill and the great thing about working for yourself being your own manager one of the greatest things is that you choose your hours I can go to uh, the shop or I could go to my office um, any time of the day I could open and close whenever I want and I could work when I have the most energy um, when I had a job I had to wake up at 5 in the morning and my sleep schedule is not uh, tuned to 5 in the morning um, for some reason I'm tuned later in the day and that I was I usually uh, I would wake up at 5 in the morning and I would be tired the whole freaking day and for a year for about four or five years that I was working at a job I was um, I was always trying to adjust to five in the morning and it was so painful to wake up at five in the morning every day for five years because you, my sleep schedule is is not tuned to that I always said since I was younger that I should have been born somewhere where uh, where it was later but for some reason uh, I was born here and I really screwed up my sleep schedule uh, ever since I was young um, that's why because that's why like uh, when I was younger I used to take a lot of night shift jobs and uh, night shift jobs were, were easy for me because I was alert and I slept good and I had the the mornings to do my stuff actually the night shift was actually the most convenient job for me so 
you need to, if you've quit your job, you have to hustle and hopefully you have people to help you out. And no one is going to, no one, oh, well, sh I don't even know, but a lot of people are not going to want to help you out because um, the people that are working, they're struggling. They are struggling to survive. They don't believe in uh, quitting. And I just see them almost uh, losing their minds going to work every single day and being stubborn and thinking, well, I, I got to go to work. I got to make this and all that stuff. And uh, they're just burning themselves out. They're going crazy. They're losing it. They're always uh, bad tempered. They're really, uh, they're really about to crack. And um, the thing about it is, is that uh, when you don't have a job, you're not wasting money on gas and travel because uh, you're you're not traveling. So. Uh, you're saving a lot of money, and then you realize that you know what I'm. I was, uh, I was spending a lot of money to fuel me, and so that I can go to work. I was buying Starbucks like four or five times a day to stay awake, and then I would buy this very expensive, uh, nutritious food from like uh, Whole Foods to give me nutrients so that I could be alert, and then I would buy vitamins so that I don't feel bad and I don't feel mood swings. I would buy beer so that I could unwind. Well, all that crap went out the window when you quit. When I quit my job, I didn't have to buy five freaking Starbucks a day, so I saved money on that. I didn't spend so much money grocery shopping at very expensive uh, uh, grocery stores trying to find nutrients. I could just eat cheap food now and uh, I'm spending less because I'm not uh, traveling um, two hours to work every day. I would travel about two hours to work every single damn day. I was spending about $80 in gas. And it was uh, even with a four cylinder, I was spending a lot of money. And then on the weekends, um, I would splurge and spend all this stupid money on ha like, uh, I don't know, it was just a whole mess. But um, once you quit your job, your priorities change. You realize that you don't really need that much money to survive in this world. And yeah, it's a, it's a journey. Um, will I ever go... The good thing about... Um, another thing about uh, quitting your job, if it all fails and you can't do it, you could, al you could always get another shitty job. It's not like you're never going to get, you can't get another job. But at least you quit your job and you try to work for yourself and build yourself up and not build other people up. So that's all I wanted to say for this uh, great resignation rent.